guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Alex from Alex's Innovations. Right now I'm in my basement and I'm going to try and make some jewelry based off of something that I find in here. So that might be some nuts or bolts, or maybe some cute tools. Maybe I can form into a bracelet or jewelry of some kind. I'm gonna make stuff out of things that I find in my basement, woohoo! I also sound weird today because I actually had a fever yesterday and I also forced myself to go to school yesterday, which probably wasn't the best idea, but today I feel better. Um, I sound worse than it actually is, but hopefully I just wanted to make a video for you guys just so you guys can see. Right now I'm in my basement where you can see we have tools behind me, that's also why the lighting isn't super great and we have this weird LED thing up here, but it's going to be awesome and I'm really excited for this video. Let's get started! I'm not really sure about the structure of this video, um, this is sort of like a vlogging sort of thing, but right now I'm in my basement, you can see this is sort of like the tools we have, we have some hacksaws, some pliers, some wrenches, I've always wanted to make like little earrings out of these ones, like that would be so cute, but also, oh no, these are the really tiny ones, like I've always wanted to make one out of that. Maybe I can make like a necklace or something, but that would be just so cute. And then we have our vice, all sorts of drills and light bulbs. Ooh, light bulb earrings, that would be a great idea. I'm just kidding, it would never be a good idea. We have all of our wires, which I guess could be used for a creative chain of some sort, I'm not really sure. This is probably where we're going to be doing most of our uh, research for our materials. We have all of our nuts and bolts and washers and nails and whatnot. I think they would look really cool with maybe some punk jewelry. The only thing we have to be careful of is to make sure that everything's the same color because some metals are like gold, some are silver. We have cool neon zip ties, which I've never been able to actually figure out how to use, which is very bad. I have the hot glue gun stuff. And then over here, this is what I make my computer earrings out of. Basically, this is just a box of a bunch of circuit boards that I've collected over the years and that I keep. And um, it's a lot of fun. I don't think I'm going to run out anytime soon. <laughs> we have house paint when we moved into our house 10 years ago and we painted the house and all this is left over. And then a big jar of acetone, which is extremely flammable and probably not good to have right next to a large boiler that warms our house. So I think what I'm going to be doing is for this video, I'm going to look through this drawer mostly and I'm going to see what I can make out of the tools in here. Let's see if I can maybe modify anything, if I can find any cool cool chains or like, I mean, these bolts I bought for a science experiment, turns out I only needed, needed one. So of course I bought five because I was afraid that one wouldn't cut it, but one did cut it. <laughs> so we have that. Maybe, I mean, they're kind of heavy, but, and they're kind of sharp too, but I don't know. If they weren't so sharp, they'd make cool earrings. So I'll play around with this one, and I'll take this one out, and let's see what we can do with this. I'm doing this with one hand, and it doesn't look heavy, but it's extremely heavy, because it's pretty much filled to the brim with metal. Let's close this. Let's look through this one first, because this one is sort of more miscellaneous. Right now, I see that we have some... We have some hinges. These, this being at a right angle would not be good for necklaces, I know because it wouldn't lay flat with the chest, so I don't know how I'll be able to use that. But this looks interesting. This would be a very cute necklace, I think, so I'll put this over here. I'm not really sure what this is, but this, don't really know what that is either. <laughs> there are more of these, so these could be, wait, I have a pair, so I could make earrings out of them. I don't know where I'd go about putting in the loop for that, but we could do that. We have these things, which I'm not sure exactly what they are. <laughs> Interesting. Oh no, these are um, nail screws. They're screws because they have the screws. Yeah, you know, this is an Allen wrench, I believe, and this would be a really cool piece of jewelry. I don't know how I'd go about doing that. Um, I don't have a blowtorch, so I wouldn't be able to bend this, but if I could, that would be really cool. There's this, which is definitely super cool, and if I could somehow drill a hole in this and then make that a necklace, that would be very cool, but again, I don't have a metal drill or anything. Um, I do have this. This is really pretty. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it sort of like has, has this greenish yellowy feel. I think it's a screwdriver down here at the bottom, and there's a hook here at the top, so that's kind of cool. I'll put that over here. I don't know what we'll be able to do with that. We do have a lot of washers over here. So, I mean, I might be able to do something with that, either like a bracelet with, with this as a charm, or maybe some sort of earring or something, I'm not sure. But there are many different types of washers, we have big ones, small ones, oh, we have bolts. This is what I was looking for, we have bolts, I think we could make something really cute with these. Here are some more bolts. This one's a square bolt, and it's also green with paint on it. 
all sorts of different kinds of both. This one's a thin washer. A wing nut. Ooh, two wing nuts. That could be cool. So this is what we have here right now. Um, I'll look through the other box and see if I can find anything exciting. Okay, so as you can see, this box is much cleaner. Um, I think most of this stuff is new, like it hasn't been used before. So in terms of making jewelry, I think it would be a lot better. Um, we have these bolts over here. These bolts are really cute. They're very, very tiny, so that would be cool as like a sort of a spacer bead sort of thing if we were to go in that route. Um, so I'll take I'll take two of these. I'm always, I'm taking two in case if I want to make earrings out of them. But necklaces and bracelets are are fun too. So I'll put those over there. Um, we also have these little tiny washers, which again, they're so cute. Um, I can definitely see doing some sort of bracelet with these things. Okay, so we'll put, maybe I'll put two, two of these over here also as well. We have this one slightly bigger nut, but I can't see any others because the rest of these are very small, so, unfortunately, but I'll put that one over here. Um, we also have these really, really tiny washers. I don't even know if they're washers because they have a space in here, so I don't know how that would work. And then these slightly bigger washers, which again, I'll put over here. We have these really tiny washers over here. Oh, here's another big one. Um, and then we have these bolts with nuts. This one's like a, it's a six-sided bolt. Um, that looks cool. It looks kind of punk. I like it. We have these with wing nuts, washers, wing nuts, and such, so... Pretty cool. I think my best bet right now is to take these different washers. I think I may do a sort of earring, sort of chandelier thing because I have multiple widths of washers. I have these little ones and then I have these medium ones. And then I can take out from these ones. These ones are kind of big. So I could do that. I also, though, have big washers. These ones are really big. Um, so I could do these, but it would have to be sort of more like rustic or antique because these ones are like bright metal and these ones are really old and aged. Also, I could clean these. I don't know how to do that though, so I'd have to look into it, but I'm sure I could figure it out. This piece is also really cool. This um, weird gear looking sort of thing. Um, so I don't know how I'd do that, but yeah, right now also... This one's really cool. Maybe I could do like an earring maybe for one side or for this one maybe I could do a bracelet like or maybe I could loop a string on this side and this side and could sort of loop around a bracelet. I don't really know but I think it would be really fun. Also we have these. Um, this I could definitely see like putting a chain on this side and on this side although I don't know how I go about attaching the chain but that would definitely be cool. One other fun thing I could do is that I could take this. I could take this washer out and then I could unscrew this bolt all the way and then hot glue it and then I could make some sort of necklace out of that that would make like a really cool punk necklace. This will be a fun engineering challenge. Also I'm slowly losing my voice so I'm sorry guys if I just like fade in and out of talking. <laughs> I'm thinking of using these ones as sort of a pendant for a necklace maybe because these aren't as bright as these ones so I could just do a black, maybe a black or another neutral color of embroidery thread or maybe I'll use a silver chain, I'm not really sure yet although I don't have jump rings that big but I could make like a loop around this and loop around, it'll be cool. One thing that I also want to try is I'm going to see if I can separate these two washers and then if I have jump rings that are big enough I could try and fit them in between the holes here. That would give me two loops that I could attach a metal chain to and then we could create a really nice punky looking silver necklace. And then I could just hot glue this bolt because right now this bolt turns but if I just put some hot glue on the threads and then screw it in and leave it to dry then I think we could fix that issue. So I think I'm going to try this one and then I'm going to try these necklaces. And plus I'll try and make a pair of earrings with these ones. I'll do small, medium, large chandelier earrings. So I'll get those and then I'll go upstairs and see what supplies I have. Alrighty, my desk is a little bit messy so that's why I'm zooming in only on this part. But I tried to make a an earring and as you can see um, it's kind of hard to figure out so far because you can't really see it in three dimensions. If I put it like flat on the ground it just sort of looks like that. But this jump ring is just the diameter of this washer, which means that it's very, very hard for me to put this on. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but I figured out if I do just these two, then it looks okay. So I'm trying to wonder, is this big enough for like an earring? Could this be maybe a small earring? I don't know. So I'll get back to you after I've made more progress. Here are the finished washer earrings. They are a bit washed out. <laughs> so hopefully I can think of a better way to photograph them, but I think they look really pretty. I would definitely wear these, and hopefully at the end of this video, I can give you a shot of me wearing some of the jewelry I've made. Also, 
peep the starburst in the back, go watch my tutorial if you haven't already. I just found this black chain in my little box of jump rings and such, and I think it's really cool because honestly this would look so good together. It's like a little rustic bolt with some black chain that would look super cool. So let's see if I can make any earrings or necklaces with that. So I looped this black chain around the bolt, and then I put a silver jump ring and then a silver earring hook. And I think this looks really, really cool. I can't wait to put this on, but first I have to make another one. I can't get too much ahead of myself. Alright, so I'm done with these, I'm done with both of them, and I'm done with the washer earrings. So now I'm going to try and make this into a necklace of some sort. What I'm thinking right now is I'm thinking I'm going to take two embroidery threads. I'm going to do a half hitch on this side and then a half hitch on this side. I'm going to loop them around, and then hopefully at the top I can add some sort of lobster clasp, as I have right here. Um, hopefully that'll work, and I'm going to try and use a black thread, and I'll show you guys how it goes. This is the necklace with the washer. I really, really like how this turned out. Um, it has, it looks much better on in person, but I'll just show you this for now. It has these knots up here, which I used a lighter, as you can see, to weld it, and then it has these cute little clasps. And it looks really, really nice, and then I used half hitch knots to just attach them. So now we're going to go into the modeling phase. Next we have these punk earrings. These I absolutely love. They are so cool. They contrast so well with my skin. I really like it and they, especially the darker color of the bolts, definitely match these. So I really like these as well. Alright, and finally we have these washer earrings. I really, really like them. They really, again, they're a little more simplistic than the other ones, but I think they look really good. And I've zoomed in a little bit just so you guys can see how they look like on me. A link to all of these will be in the description. I'll put a link for each one individually. These will be the washer earrings, the other ones will be the bolt earrings, and this one will be the washer necklace. So hopefully you guys can support my shop by buying these. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to keep the bracelets coming. See you next time, guys. Thank you.